The ultimate question is, did Paul Sherrill mean what he said? And what did he mean when he said it? Let's talk about it. We will be right back. Don't go to nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, thank you all for tuning in to Too Strong. And I have to give a special shout out since it's sitting there right in my face. I can't forget to Miss Lorian. How are you doing today? Uh, thanks, everybody else, for coming in joining Too Strong, where Too Strong is always better than one. My name is Corey, and next to me is Downtown Brown. I was going to say Downtown Merlin, but I want to say Downtown Brown today. Um, I got a, I got a shirt like this, dude. I didn't realize I was going to do that. Um, does that make me, does that make him a racist? And if it does, does it make me want to? Yeah. So, well, no, you can't be one. So, so no, it's impossible. Yeah. You black. Black people cannot be racist. That's what <laughs> I don't mean that by the way, y'all. I think that's stupid. That's why we said it. <laughs> people crazy, man. Black people can't be racist. Boy, I tell you, that's a whole nother level. But anyway, um, <clears throat> This guy made a statement, and everybody is um, on this trail about it, eating it up, eating it up. And I got my comments about it, too. I got some thoughts, but I want to um, – I did a little bit of looking into it, and Marlon did probably more looking into it. And I want to hear what he got to say before I come up with Dang it. it. That ain't right. That ain't right. That's a nice setup, wasn't it? That ain't right. You like that? That ain't right. But uh, okay, I'll go first. <laughs> no, but, but really, I mean, e even without saying what you feel, let's just let, put the facts out there. What happened, um, and and whatever you dug up on it, you know what I'm saying? Then, mm -hmm. and I, and I, I'll be glad to go first. Okay, so um, this racist, ridiculous white man. No, I'm just kidding. I ain't, I ain't going that hard on him. Um, there was a bill proposed um, before Tennessee legislation, and it was House Bill One Two Four Five. House Bill 1245 would bring back the execution of death row inmates by electrocution in lieu of the lethal injection if the state was unable to procure the injection. So during the debate over the, the bill, um, Mr. Sherrill said, and I will want to make sure I quote this, I was just wondering, could I put an amendment on that that would include hanging by a tree also? Now, this is in Tennessee. It's in Tennessee. And he uh, later walked back the comment saying, and I quote, my exaggerated comments were intended to convey my belief that for the cruelest and most heinous crimes, a just society re requires the death penalty in kind. Although a victim's family cannot be restored, when an execution is carried out, a lesser punishment undermines the value we place on protecting life. That was his uh, clarification on what he said, and that's exactly what he said prior to us. He wants to make sure he bring up, yeah, let's hang him from a tree too. Mm -hmm. People have since said that he was racist for saying that, that he was targeting black people and that he meant to say it to try and bring back lynching. And they went, Ben Crump, if you know Ben Crump comes in, you know he's going to bring the, the race card with him. So he mentioned talking about it and everyone was just on him about the fact that he's racist for even mentioning tree hanging. So that is what the uh, the framework is. All right, so I'll be glad to go first. Mm -hmm. The fact that um, he said he admitted that he was being sarcastic was the giveaway to me. Mm -hmm. That's the giveaway. Because when you're sarcastic, you're being sarcastic about things you believe. Mm -hmm. When you're being sarcastic, it's, a, it's you saying things that um, it's, it's in your heart, man. You just, I mean, 
I'm a sarcastic guy. I know like nine times out of 10, if I say something sarcastic, it was like, I'm still making a point. You, mm-hmm. you understand what I'm saying? And so with him knowing the nature of the reputation of Tennessee period is, you know, racist, which I don't buy into that. I just, I don't care, I guess, to that, to that, mm-hmm. to that point. But also, I'm sure he's aware of the stigma of hanging blacks from trees. Whenever you think of hanging a person from a tree, you typically think of blacks because we've been indoctrinated to think that. Uh, it started in school, elementary school. And, I, and I'm sure he got the same thoughts and he are, he's um, pretty aware of that. He knows. So to make a comment like that and then admit that you was being sarcastic does not necessarily mean he's racist, but something is going on in his heart to lead him to to say that. Because what what made him what what triggered it? That's that would be the big question. What triggered him to say the hanging part? Why why that is is what you know is what's in my head about that. And and I think it was I think it was very. Um, out of place for him to say that, and I think it was stupid. But do, do that. Do I think that he should be um, kicked out of office? No. Do I think that he should? Uh, I don't know. I, nothing. <laughs> I mean, he said it. You know what's in his heart. If that's what it is, and that's it. But I, I, I do admit that we don't have any proof to say that he's a racist because I've never heard him say that he was a racist. So I, I don't have proof of that. But I think it was very stupid for him to say that, and, I, and out of place. Um, not the best aggravated comment to make. I fully agree with that. Um, I don't know for a hundred percent fact. I don't even think I can get 15 or 20 percent that he intended to make it directly towards black people. Um, the state has a pretty high population of blacks and in the prison system on death row, there are about 23 blacks versus 17 whites and one Asian. Um, the numbers bear out, yeah, there are more blacks on death row than there are whites. Um, and then when you look at the crime statistics that they do outdo white people in Tennessee, as they do everywhere in the United States, it seems, in terms of violent to even um, life-ending crimes. Um, the statement in and of itself to bring or hang them by a tr- tree um could swing like you said before Corey. could swing either way it could swing from the days of the western days to the days of slavery where you know so either one um could he have put if he had put a caveat on it and say every inmate that's in there for murder would that have cleared it up i don't think so no Uh, well well, let me me make a point about that real real mm -hmm. fast even if it was the other way around let's just say that it was, I'm going to make up a number real quick, Merlin, um, 30 people on death row mm-hmm. and 20 of them was white and 10 of them was black. Mm-hmm. That still does not uh, put the scale on either side of the fence. And I'm going to tell you right, what. Right, right. Because at the end of the day, he still, okay, he said put it on there as, a, as an option. It would be an option, right? And so if the option is available and he had people, and I'm just speaking, I'm just giving giving an example. And he had people or the, the people were corrupt as well, like the other, the judges in Tennessee and all that. So if the option is there, they could target certain people because the option is there. So I just think that the numbers, um, that don't do it. The, not yet. The, the, dang it. You messed me up, man. I just think, I just think that the numbers, they're interesting to know, you know what I'm saying? And, and they're good to know think is necessary to know for this conversation but they, that can be argued both ways to me but the, at the end of the day i mean we don't have no solid proof that the man is racist mm-hmm. he could have he could have let something fly out of his mouth that i don't know man i i, I just i'm not we so can we can attest that it's a dumb statement yeah yeah we, we, we can agree. That was definitely dumb. agree that's a dumb statement that was a very dumb uh, statement valid can't say either way yeah I don't, yeah targeted yeah. can't say either way um, I don't consider hanging barbaric. I do. I consider murder barbaric. 
And I consider if you have a death penalty of any, I, 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 I consider son and quarter barbaric. I, I consider the, tor- the, the, the racking barbaric, but I don't consider hanging barbaric. I'm going to tell you what's barbaric about it. Mm-hmm. Um, in the sense of barbaricism. Mm-hmm. Here I go. New word, new word. New word. Uh, um, because, okay, so somebody go out and do something stupid. And how, how what was the guys they had, what, three? A triple homicide. Okay, you go commit no, no, a uh, uh, sectuple. Six, six. He had six murders on his. Okay, on his right. Yeah. So one of the guys that so said it's the guy that go out and and kill six people, and he is wrong, and that is brutal. That's gruesome, and that's um, that's not barbaric either. That's extremely barbaric. I get it, and so he gets the death penalty. I can go with that too. But at the end of the day. I don't know. No, no, I do know. I, I, it, it's to me, it's not right to hang him from a tree because that man got might have kids, grandchildren, and I just don't want the trauma. I don't think that they deserve the trauma um, based on that, that 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 they could receive based on actions that that he took. So I would say instead of being um, Angry, what is that? And it's not necessarily anger because it's also uh, the fact that look, this is an example. This is what you know. If you if you do this, this is what you'll get. So I get that, but I just don't think that that uh, hanging people from trees or or shooting people is the way to go because of the people that that's alive and how it may affect them. Because if you if you want to kill this guy and get him out of society, okay, I can go with that. So then just you know kill him and get him out of society, but not not uh not hanging from trees or shooting, shooting them in the head. I just don't, I don't think that's a good firing idea. squad. Neither. No, no, because, and like I said, it's not about, uh, to me, it's, it's, it's not about, uh, him because I'd be done with him and whatever happened to him, he deserved it, whatever, or however that worked. But as far as the people, you understand what I'm saying, man? Like, just think I go, I, I flip on and go do some stupid stuff, man. Do my kids deserve to see me get shot in the head? Do my kids deserve to see me, um, uh, get hung from a tree well they normally don't televise or even invite family members to see the executions either way so yeah i don't no, think you'd be traumatized do. by it no, no they do no they do. for a hanging i don't think they've ever had people in the recent years of hanging they've not brought children to the hanging uh, so what, what trauma what trauma would there be for the kids to see to, to see to, hangings? To, to even know that their dad was hung all they need to see is a picture of somebody else being hung or or, or image in their head because you can put an image in your head that your daddy was hung and that can be just as bad as you seeing them being hung. In some cases, that could be worse because when you can't, when you don't see it, it's the, the effects are worse because your imagination start running wild. You know what I'm saying? You, it, it could be a lot worse in your head. So then just don't tell the people how he died. Well, somebody's going to tell them because if they're a child, everybody's going to know this dude got hung by a tree. I'm going to tell my kids, my kids going to tell kids, they're going to start teasing them about it. Oh, you are got hung from a tree. Is the trauma any less for the child if they find out what their dad did? I don't know because the trauma is delivered to to children. I don't I don't get to decide how that's distributed, so I don't know. I wouldn't know that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure that no, I'm be- saying compared to a hanging that they know that their dad got hanged, mm-hmm. would it be any different them knowing what their dad did to the victim? I don't understand the question. I yeah. said I don't know. So I don't how know. Do you know you don't know that, but you know hanging would get would traumatize. No, I, I didn't say that it would. I said it could. Then I would take the chance. That's just me. No, I, I, and, and, yeah. that's, and that's fine. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I would not do that to a child. I would not do that to innocent people and especially children. I, I wouldn't. I think, you know, that's just me. I, I, I don't think that they deserve that. You know what I'm saying? But I, if I, I didn't say I didn't think the guy deserved to die, but I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't do that. Would you remove the death penalty total, totally? No. Okay. For what crimes? Uh, it would have to be. It would have to be only like murder. Uh, child pedophilia, pedophilia for sure, um, murder, and that's really all I can think of. But ped- you know, pedophile, rape, and uh, and murder. Um, my idea of recently was in the last 70, 80 years. So yes, they have. That's recent to me. <laughs> um, we're not talking about four hundred years ago that they were doing it. Um, Hanging hasn't just recently gone away in terms of you know, yesterday, but it's 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 for me it's recent. Um, would you be? Do you think in kind 
punishment would be the way to go? Um, not necessarily. It depends on the situation. So let's take, let's take the six homicide guy. Uh huh. Um, all gun execution style murders. Um, would it be fair? That's the word I'll use fair for you to exit the same way you exited six people. Um, would it be fair? I'm not sure if that's fair or not, but would it be appropriate in my mind? Not necessarily. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the goal is, is to not be so, um, angry. You know what I'm saying? With it like that. See when you, t this is just, this is just my, my opinion of how I see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. The bottom line is we got to get this dude out of society. He got to go. And the reason he got to go because he's a danger. He posed a threat. Um, and also because we need to make an example out of him. So if we hang him or, you know, sit him on the wall and do the firing squad and all that, that's a, that's a good example. You know what I'm saying? That didn't really scare people, but the, the ultimate goal is to get him out of society. And I don't see why we got to fire him up like that to inflict fear. I don't think that man should inflict fear. I, I, I don't think that's right uh, for man to inflict fear upon people. And I also, again, don't like the potential trauma that it could cause for other people, not just children, but just other innocent people, period. So I just say, get rid of him, get rid of him quietly. And that's it. He gone. <clears throat> um, I've been scanning the, the comment section. And I'm um, right now. Huh? I'm gonna start right now. Yeah, you you you'll enjoy it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I kind of I'll address multiple ones of them and um, all at once. Um, it's it's so crazy that they can look at a a picture and hear a statement that had zero race attached to it. And because of the picture, the race of the person, and the nature of the comment, it's an instinctual idea to call him and be 100% sure <laughs> that he is racist. Um, I don't know how you could make that blanket of a statement with no real tangible proof other than there are black people mentioned that are on death row and he is white. Um, I want to, I want to admit something to you all transparency. As I said earlier, I don't have enough proof to call this man a racist. Um, do I think he could be? Absolutely. I think it's a fairly good chance he could be. Um, but I don't know. I don't have any proof. So. I, I happen to be the guy that made the uh, the cover for this today. And I made him look like that on purpose because we knew that somebody, that that's what people would conclude based on the way he looked. Mm -hmm. And the whole point behind this is this. People can make people look certain ways on purpose, very intentionally. So we got to be careful about what we start to believe by what we see and I'm, and I'm not saying don't judge a book by its cover because that's what the cover is for. But I don't see or I wonder why we call him a racist based on how he look. But I'll tell you one thing that happened is his skin is tinted with the more with the red in it mm -hmm. to give him that look. And then he hollering. I don't know what he I don't even know what he um you know, excited about right there, but whatever it is, that's what it looked like. And it's easy to, to, to make people think things just by simple pictures and colors and things of that nature. So just be careful with that. So, I mean, the people that said that fell right into the trap. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I, do you mind if I run a small experiment, sir? Oh, please do. Okay. I'm just, I'm making sure I get the right, the right thing here. Um, I want to make sure I get the perfect, the perfect one. But in the meantime, um, it's kind of crazy that you can paint a picture for somebody. And this is exactly what the media does, people. This is exactly what the media does. 
they will put before you something that they know will trigger a certain mindset, a certain thought process, a, um, what would be the best word, a, a judgmental decision if they just showed you a certain picture of somebody. And so I want people to look at this picture and you tell me what your thoughts are of the individual. Okay, just tell me what you think of the individual. I just need a quick, quick hands up of what you guys think about this guy. What do you think of him? He's a, he looks goofy, I wanna, right? I want to I wanna tell you what I think of him. Uh-huh. I, I got two different thoughts about him. Uh-huh. And by the way, y'all, I never, he, he didn't show me these pictures. I didn't know he was going to do this. Um, He looked like he could either be a computer geek uh-huh. and a really good guy. Um, man, I don't see pedophile. I did at first, but I don't. No, you don't. You don't, right? I see computer geek. Yeah. Okay. But he probably is. So a pedophile. someone says, someone says, creepy, um, computer geek, goofy, Star Wars, jovial, nerdy. I would have to talk to him. Now, if I talk to him, I nail him. Psychopathic smile. <laughs> <laughs> I see pedo, sneaky, Chester. I don't see it for some reason. I don't. I see gamer, pedophile. Okay. Um. Okay. I'll I'll give I'll give you guys a few more. Uh, uh, Psycho Snowden. He looks goofy. Okay. Weirdo. Evangelist. Okay. I can see that. Okay. No. No. Okay. So all right. Okay. You know what? None of them guessed. What did none of y'all guess? You didn't guess racist or white supremacist. <laughs> right. You know what he is? You know what he is? A racist and a white supremacist. A racist white supremacist. Yeah. <laughs> Self, self-proclaimed paraphernalia all over his house. He threatened to shoot up a black community center and was arrested. Now, that experiment was to show a few things to the audience. Tons of you that were saying the guy on the picture said person this. Oh, you can tell he racist. Look at him. You can't tell he racist by looking at him, though? No, I can't tell he racist. You see, the deception no. is in what you feel in your eyes should be true and right, right versus I'm, what ain't. So I'm going to tell you this. Mm-hmm. So I said that if I talk, if I talk to him, I could pick him. You right might tell. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something. If he chooses not to let me know that, just even with talking to me, I wouldn't. You wouldn't know. Out. You wouldn't know. They almost got to tell you. You know what I'm saying? And and, and listen, the race racists they they out there. Mm-hmm. And and guess what else though? Typically they tell you. They will tell you right in your face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I'm I, I just can't look at this guy and say he's a racist. I can't. So, okay, so you said he was a murderer, but the one thing that many of you were saying about said dude on screen right now was said so because he looks like a racist. And there is no proof that he is. The one I showed you says he is a racist, and you couldn't guess it. My point to doing all that for the audience was to show you that just because you can see what you think you see, don't make it true because you feel it. You want this guy to be a racist based on how he looks. And what he said. I could show you a picture of this guy with his grandkids or something, smiling, playing in a park. You probably wouldn't think the same thing. Or you might. But you definitely didn't think it of the actual racist. We said that his statement was absolutely dumb to say. I could see that being a dumb statement. Yeah, and potentially and potentially racist. Potentially, and, and yes. <clears throat> um, but I also have to weigh it against whether or not the... Uh, the tree hanging thing is a, a bad deal. And for me, again, for me, not for Corey, for me, me, um, I don't see any problem with that or any other means of execution. Um, if you have decided that death is how you want to live out and kill people, you shouldn't have a problem exiting the world the same way. Um, If you thought it through enough to do six people in, four people in, five people in, two people in. I mean, 
it, if however you exit, I don't think you should have a problem with it. Unless you are telling me that, you know what, man, I did it and it was a crime of passion. The only time you did it and you're going to go through rehab. Uh, exceptions? I don't know. But I think for the most part, if you are, what? you chose your life to be that way and you ended with multiple killings. I don't, I don't know sympathy for you, however you end your life. Well, we, we got to... I think that what we got to do is go back to the reason. What is the reason? What is the purpose behind hanging somebody from a tree? What's the purpose of that? What's the purpose of it? Yeah. What's your, what's your end goal? Not, not killing him. Cause we know that because we saying that if he, if he got to die, he can go more. Oh, a definite fear That's, factor. Yeah, definite fear, fear factor, factor for so, future offenders. Yeah. Right. Right. So um, I just question: is it a good thing? for man to be intentionally inflicting fear. What do you mean? Clarify that. Break that down a little more. So is it right, you know what I'm saying, for for man to be inflicting fear on people? I think punishments are built in fear. I don't want to get burned, but if I got burned, that'd be an, that, that would definitely keep me from putting my hand in fire anymore. Well, that, that's, that's, that's logic. Right. You know, so you and I think this should be logic, too. Yeah, yeah, but but what I'm saying is that's something that you're not doing. But for somebody to put you on a tree and hang you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's the, the intent is for man. See, the stove inflicted fear, the fire mm -hmm. inflicted fear in that case. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about for man to inflict fear upon another man. I see nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do. Any man that shed blood by his hand, by by man shall his blood be shed. Yeah. I see yeah. nothing wrong with it. But I just I just don't I just don't agree with doing it in a way that other people are going to be affected. I don't I'm not I'm not into that. If somebody if it, it, listen, it's the same thing, man. If somebody do something to you, you know, and then you why do their kids got to be affected by it? Um, or or innocent family members, you know what I'm saying? That's just the way I see it. Uh, or and, and I know they're gonna be affected either way, but why? Why intentionally make it, you know, worse when all you got to do is just, you know, inject them or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, whatever they got going on. Um, you said you'd make an exception for um, people that harm children. Yeah, you know, the capital punishment, not hanging by trees. So what would be the limit of that capital punishment for children, for people that do that to children? Just injection? Yeah, just injection. Mm -hmm. Because anything outside of that is a is an intentional, um, is is an intentional fear factor, or or either you're anger angry and you looking to um, seek revenge. You know what I'm saying? And it, it just I consider the injection just as much as revenge because you still die. It's no, just it's, a humane. It's, it's just no. a just a quiet way. Yeah, it, it, and, and and it's quiet because you you're doing it with the intent that. I don't want to, you know, shoot him down or or hang him and all that. So it's like I'm trying to do it in the, in the best possible way to keep it just as smooth as possible. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we both we all know that um, um, that there's a difference in in, in uh, firing squads and and hanging from trees than than lethal injection. Corey is too conf is too focused on one side. What is you talking about? You should be focused on one side. You shouldn't be all over the place. I'm just yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. You gotta is, have a stand somewhere. You gotta have a stand. Yeah. If you don't stand for nothing, then that's on you. I stand for what I stand for, and I stand. I'm on focused what on the other side. Ain't nobody saying nothing. What right. I'm saying. Exactly. I'm focused, I'm focused on hanging them. I'm right. So, so, I'm so, so why is it Corey focused on one side, but he's not? He focused on his side, and that's fine. I respect what he's saying. Like he respect what I'm saying. We're just having a conversation. So why did you point Corey out and say Corey focused on one side? Is Merlin not focused on one side? He, he's pro he's pro hanging yeah so he focused on one side yeah yeah idiots Just i think i think at this at at this juncture in how society is going so here's my question now okay i got a good question and i think i, I think you know you have the answer already and it's just a matter of you know formalizing it in speech <laughs> in today's society do you think people are unafraid to kill people because there's no, there's nothing keeping them from doing it. There's nothing, no deterrent anywhere. They go to yeah. jail or they get out or they go to jail for life and sometimes they'll get it overturned. Do you think there's no more incentive anywhere, Heck whether yeah. fear of jail, for them to just do it? Absolutely, there's fear. A bunch Should, of them. 
a bunch of what fear to not kill somebody? Oh, heck yeah. Like what? People, people, people generally are not looking to kill people. They scared to do that. First of all, they 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 just don't want to kill, period. Most mm-hmm. people, let me tell you something. Most people would not even kill. I mean, I'm sorry, let me let me say it right. Most people wouldn't kill, even if they could get away with it. They just don't want to kill. Yeah, well, that's the majority because of, I mean. The crime, if otherwise it'd be half the country in prison. I know, but I'm asking you yeah. a question. You asked me that. I'm just answering. Yeah, I'm saying, but I'm saying, based on the killings, do you think that people are unafraid of the consequences? That's why it happened. Okay, so right now we have a say, take Chicago and and a split between Tennessee and Chicago. T- Chicago had what 750 last year. Yeah, was, yeah, over and, 700. And, yeah, and Tennessee had 500. These are murders. These are not just crimes. These are, that's murder. 750 plus murders versus 500. Do you think the people that did that have any fear of consequence? And would they stop if there was a consequence big enough for put, to put fear in them? Or do you think they can, they'll stop without fear? Um, no, I don't think they'll stop either way. Mm-hmm. And here's why. Um, I do think, I do believe that I'm willing to say, and I'm going to just tell you just straight up, I know a lot of killers. I know a lot of people that's killed, that's done killed and, and do it. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm just keeping it real with you. And from what I gather from most people like that, they, no, they, they not scared to do it or else they wouldn't have did it. But the, I mean, I'm sorry, they, they are scared to do it, but they're not scared enough to not do it based on the reason why they are doing it. I hope I made sense, but you know what I mean? Yes, but, I know what you mean. Yeah. So, and, and, and what it is, man, is people believe when they do that, they, and they head, they believe I'm going to get away with this. If they thought that they were going to get caught, they won't do it. And of course they scared. That's why when they do it, they run or they, you know what I'm saying? Or they, or they try to get away. They don't just stand out on the block and say, yeah, I did it. Come arrest me. I'm sitting right here. I mean, maybe that may happen every blue moon, but, but typically speaking, when somebody kills somebody, they, they, uh, they run because they scared. But the reason they did it didn't outweigh that fear. Mm hmm. Um, what what do you think of that statement, sir? Um, let me see. <laughs> I, I want I want, okay. I want an analytical answer to the to the question. Okay, not a Corey answer. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm working on it right now. <laughs> I saw it. I was like, you want? You, is it tongue bleeding yet? My lip. My lip. Okay, your lip bleeding. Your lip, no, your, your, your tongue be bleeding. So my tongue, my lip be bleeding. You know, you gotta bite your tongue so much that it bleeds. You know. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, my tongue bleeding. Okay, so look. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't know what to say about that, man. I, you know, I, okay, I do. Know <laughs> what I'm about that. Man, Bruh. it's a. <laughs> Anything we can say to alleviate the accountability, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Would you white me? Well, oh my god, bro! <laughs> but the white man, you know, th- this is why I hate these kind of comments. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm serious though, but these, this is why I hate these kind of comments. Because they, they cause too much friction within our own community. That's the first thing. It caused too much friction within oh. our own community. The wrong kind of friction. Because look at it. Look at this. You, I assume, I assume, I assume I'm not making an ass out of myself, but I assume that the guy that wrote this is black or maybe, maybe not. But either way. We want to be so quick to talk about what a white man to do. But when we look at it, unless the numbers are wrong or I got it wrong, most black people that are being murdered are not being murdered by a white man, not a white police, not a white lawyer, not a white thug, not a white dope dealer, not a white pastor. They're being killed by black people. So I don't even know how that statement is it, it hold any weight. I don't I, mean, I don't know. Okay, well I got numbers. 
<laughs> you know, we got to go with numbers. We can't do nothing but numbers, you know. I, mean, I know people don't like numbers. They go say, oh, the numbers are lying, blah, 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 blah. But okay. All right, that's why I say, even, if, even you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm missing. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not wrong. Okay. So, um, 13,000 murders in 2019. Okay. I picked an old time. So, you can say that's because of racism and Trump. Okay. I made sure to pick 2019. Um. Of 13,927 murders, um, the uh, assailant was unknown 1,800 times, Hispanic 8,000 times, mind you, 8.8, sorry. Um, and that's not, sorry, that's not Hispanic or Latino is 8,000. Hispanic or Latino, 2,000. Um, mixed races, about 600 Blacks, 7,400. Whites, 5,700. And that's bad. That's bad. So, so um, from that alone, this statement is not, um, not true, first of all. Um, so it doesn't actually bear out in factual information. So I can't say that I agree with you. And if you are right, and in your mind you think you are, um, do you have something to back that particular statement up? Um, because if you're going to state something that blatant, skewed to one race, I would assume you have something to back it up. I mean, of any kind, even if it's a article that says it, at least something that tells me that you are on board with it being correct. So all I can tell you is this. Um, when you do a, a certain level of crime, um, the majority of them that commit at least really heinous crimes are never really sorry. Um, the majority of them will take their death sentence and laugh most of the time. Um, is there a rehab way to do jail? I don't think there is a rehab way to do jail. I don't know how we would actually properly do prison. I, I really can't even if you don't want to do a death sentence i don't know how you would properly do prison i do give us a breakdown of how to do proper prison if, okay so first of all knowing that we've been doing the prison system been ran pretty much the same um forever all right so we see that it's not working mm -hmm. only to an extent it do work for some people but overall it's not working we see that i think that um when you put people in prison prison is a um People use prison and the way they're being ran as a revenge system. And it's not right. Revenge is God's. And so they make the harshest, um, the, you know, they, they make they make it harsh, as harsh as possible. Um, they allow people to get raped. Guards walking right by doors, watching people get raped, watching people get stabbed and killed. It's, it's That's not good, man. And so... I know that, see, this, this is the problem with people that, um, that don't commit crimes. And, 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 I, and I applaud people that has ne have never lived the criminal life. I have. And people that, that has never lived that life are so insensitive to people's uh, lives when they get in trouble. It's like, you know, I, I, and, and I get it because you feel like I did right all my life. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. And now here it is. You got this and you got that. And they finally got you. I want the worst for you then, the worst treatment. And when it comes to killers, you know, they, oh, you killed, you know, somebody you need to, you need to live in a, in a, in a cell by yourself alone for the rest of your life. And listen, and I admit, I feel that way about people sometimes too. But I also admit that it's not right. Because revenge is not mine. I'm not understanding how we don't think it would be better to put these people in a place and at least try to rehabilitate them. Because if, listen, you're going to win somebody, somebody is going to change job training, um, introduction to God, which they do try that, you know what I'm saying? But improperly, um, and counseling, you know, even like pr proof in the pudding, even with my son, he had to take a, a program. I forgot what it was called. And he told me, he said, man, you know what I'm saying? That, um, I didn't realize I was thinking like that. That changed my whole thought process. So it, it to, to a degree, it had to work on them. You know what I'm saying? But they need more of that. 
and they need to focus on it and job training. That's what I would do because it, listen, if we treat these people with anger, we're going to get back what we, what we gave them. And it's going to be a circulating door. No. I, could only, I could only imagine how many people would come off the streets and stop committing crimes if they had a skill to, um, and, and, and proper, proper training to, to, to maintain legally. I, I believe it'd be a much better place around here. Is there not programs like that already in prison? Yeah, but they fake. Um, they they using they they're not really trained them properly to a degree. Now you got some programs that that are good, but you gotta to get in those programs is uh is is difficult. You gotta you gotta get lucky. Oh, trust me, I know plenty of people that's been in prison. You gotta get lucky to get in certain programs. Mm -hmm. Um, you gotta qualify for it. In fact, like matter of fact, Corey was fin. I forgot what it was. He was going to some program. And he had to go through a whole interview to to get it, and then um, it took him like six years to finally get in it so then they let him in there but then they told him it's going to give him like um i think 15 cent an hour <laughs> something like something crazier it came out to be like a dollar a dollar or something a day now listen <clears throat> we can argue that both sides we could say hey man you in prison you need to get the training go for the training now this is what i told him i said you should have took it anyway because you just need the training if nothing else get the training you're blessed enough to where i'm going to send you enough money to eat you, that's you're not going to go hungry in there. So just take it for the training. But he was like, man, but I just, it's hard for me to accept that somebody got me working like that for a dollar for less than $2 a day. Like I just, I can't, I can't do it. So let's encourage people to just listen, give these people five, $10 a day for that. They'll go work because to them, that's a, if, if nothing but a sandwich a day, because some people are, are really hungry. I still think it's taking advantage of people, but that's fine. You got, you got to pay a debt to society, but there, it's, it's not being pushed right and encouraged right now. And these, these job training jobs, the stuff they got in there is, is not, they only got them in some prisons and then you got to get lucky to get in them. It's just not available. The availability is, is extremely low. I don't think prison is a place to teach that. I think you can well, better use the resources long before prison. Well, they, they're not being used. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? And um, we can we can think that is not the best place for it. And everybody think how they think. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we if we if we release the anger, get rid of the anger side of it, right, and the revengeful side of it, and look at it for what's realistic, these people are going to come back out into our society, and we so mad at them that we'd rather see them being treated cruel with no training that will uh, sacrifice that to let oh, them out of and be dangerous to society. No, I think you misunderstood what I meant. I don't think prison should be the spot that we aim at. What are you saying? In the point, schools? But, but, huh? No, 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 not even, not even in schools. No, I don't think it'll ever, ever happen in schools. I think the school's worse than trying to try it in the prisons. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that'll ever happen. I think there need to be programs aside from schools that have nothing to do with the schools. Um, to curtail the access to prison. Uh, I think oh, you, you should catch them long before they even get to uh, the level of prison is what I was meaning. Well, I do too. I do yeah. too. But That's what I think will be a better bet than trying to get it done in prison because I don't think it'll ever get done. There's too much money in prison. You, you mean before they get in trouble? Yeah, long before they get in trouble. Yeah, but see, okay, but you mean when you say too much money in prison, you mean from what standpoint? They're making too much to, the, the, to, to, to implement that. No, the, the, whole system, the whole prison system is making. Oh, you saying they're not going to do it? Yeah, they're not going to do it. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I don't think they're going to yeah. do it either, unless the law make them do it. You know why? Would not they? even then. Not even then. Not yeah. Even, yeah. No, if the law make them do it, they wouldn't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? But I just think that um, that's that would be the answer, though. You, better training, because at, at the end of the day, no matter how you feel about this person, no matter how you feel about what these people did, listen. 90, I don't know what the percent I'm making. I'm making this up, by the way, y'all. But I'm willing to say that 90% of the people that's in prison going to get out one day. And when they do, I want the best situation possible for me. You understand what I'm saying? Because people are dangerous. And when they go in there angry and come out angrier and then learn more stuff, now we, this is, listen, this is why we, this is part of why we got what we got today. It's just a circulating door and everybody's going. You know, man, it's 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 crazy, man, and and it's it's a pattern, Merlin. Man, it's it's a shame that most of my I ain't gonna say most, but most of my closer friends that I dealt with, you know, what I'm saying directly, and maybe not most if I think about it, but at least half of them, kids, then went to prison. Not saying it's the system fault. This is not systemic racism. I'm talking about. This is called um, 
um, it's stupid <laughs> within our own community because at the end of the day, they commit the crimes. But it's, it's just crazy how the door is circulating. Well, I think we need training. And so when you train them before then, like say they had the, the programs in high school, Merlin, right? Mm -hmm. so the the issue with that is we're still going to still going to have some people committing these crimes and going down and here's why because the older you get the more wise you get you know what i'm saying so when you th this is why this is why even in a federal system they got a chart and if you are uh, a certain age they say okay we we only need to give him this much time because it's more than more than likely he won't get out and commit a crime again so some of these people don't they, they don't get it until they get a little bit older you know what i'm saying and again i'm not saying it's right i'm not saying it's justified or it's nobody's fault but what i am saying is that since they there and in that situation if i truly care about the well-being of my society I would want them people to be trained and put in a position where it'll hopefully be less likely that they commit the same crimes again. Um, I think it's a pipe dream. Well, it is. I think it's a great, great pipe dream. The same way I think that training before they get to that level is also a pipe dream. Um, I don't think even if they made it mandatory that is done i don't think it'll get done someone will be able to pay somebody to not get it done or to lie on the paperwork that it did get done it didn't get go get done yeah just just like um, just like they're supposed to keep the keep the prison cleans with with no mold and mildew and no is, is it getting done no no, no. It's, it's horrible living conditions mice rats everything all kind of stuff so i don't necessarily think that and again people i don't think prison on any level is a race-based system i don't believe that for a minute um, and the reason I don't believe that is because there are more that get out than die on death row that are of the race that we are worried so much about. Um, but you said that the exception for the, for children and was that the only exception just for children? Yeah, I said, no, 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 no. Children and murder. For 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 capital punishment, not hanging from a tree. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't see that. I wouldn't if I if I had to if the decision was up to me. Mm -hmm. Um, the tree thing is off the off the table, and mm -hmm. the, the the gunfire thing is off the table, and the chair. Yeah, that's off the table. Okay, so would you still put them through the rehab process? Oh, now now see now that depends on the 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 extent of the crime. So, uh, some of them. That's that would be uh, a conversation. Okay, priests. Oh, you out of there? For, for, no, re for, no rehab for, for you. For molesting a kid. Yeah, no rehab for you. Um. Okay. So answering answering the ans answering that question without the opportunity to put uh, much thought into it, right off the top of my head, I'm gonna say no. And the reason why I'm gonna say no is because um, a priest, I would think no better. Mm -hmm. You know better. So I don't know. I don't know if there's any rehabilitation for him. Because he already any knows. any other guy would be up for maybe rehab. no that's a maybe okay that's a maybe but it murder is. on any other level you can put them up for rehab no that's still a maybe that's still a maybe yeah you don't have a definite line up to where that line's cut off um not not right now you know what I'm saying but I could come up with one but no not right now not right off the top of my head and it it depends on uh, how how bad it was. You know what I'm saying? So your rehab is more for people that are not of the extreme violent nature. Crime. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And that absolutely. I have no problem with. I'm not talking about killing everybody that goes to prison. Um, but I think if you have been done enough to get to that level, um, even if you find God on the way to the chair, I don't, you're not any worse off if you get electrocuted or not. If you oh, find I, God on the way to the chair, you find him on the way to the chair. You hit the jackpot. <laughs> yeah, you good. That you good to go. You ain't got nothing to worry about. If you find him on the way to the chair, or or even before the firing squad, or or you know before you drop from the, the limb, I don't think either of those stop you from getting where you need to get to. When you should be getting to, but um, for removing it or having a limitation of the type. I've always been a proponent of what you've done to the, the victim should be done to you by the victim's family. That's just me. Um, if you went in and you had dissected a grandma and left her in the house and the kids found the grandma, um, I ain't caring about what happens to you after that point. I mean, you, 
I would much rather see the family find you. I don't want the cops to find you. Um, that's just me, though. Um, people might say that's awful, evil. I was like, well, what? then think that about it. I just that's a, that's the way I see it. Yeah, I want to address this because the it's very important. The root of the problem is the problem. It wasn't their fault. It wasn't the family. It was the people wearing the coat, wearing white coats. That's what I think. It was the V in their childhood. Three ten. I I I had the V. I had tons of V's when I was born. What what the heck is a V? Oh, the the vac. Da, 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 dun, da, dun. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so. Uh, I'm not prone to violence. Uh, wait a minute. Am I? Am I? So. The root of the pro- I be tripping, man. So. You feel like you're in there now? Yes. Reading that. Am I? <laughs> no, you're not. Okay, listen. It was a deep, oh. not deep statement. You know what so I mean? Th- this is this is extremely dangerous. Dangerous. Let me tell you why it's dangerous. Because you just justified murdering, raping, killing. You justified it. Let me tell you what justification is. It's not my fault. If it's not my fault, how am I wrong? And if I'm not wrong, that means you don't need no punishment. And I can continue doing it. Yeah, because it's not wrong. In, in fact, I will continue doing it because I wanted to do it. It's obvious I want to do it because I did it the first time. I wanted to do it. And if it's not wrong, and it can't be wrong if it ain't my fault, it's the uh, people wearing the white coats. So wait, did uh, let me get this right then. Do you think that people in Sodom and Gomorrah had a whole bunch of V's going around and that caused them to act that way? Or um, the Philistines, were, did they get a lot of V's and that's why they act that way? That's um, different. The barbaric people that lived back then, and they, they had the jiggy did it, did it and that's why they behaved that way? If you that's keep crazy. attributing something currently to the state of mankind and not to the fall, I don't know what is wrong yeah, with that, you. That. Like, that Even he not... wiped out an entire planet because the evil in their heart, it was constant. King and commander took them all out and it wasn't because they got jabbed. <laughs> like, come on, man. Come on. I mean, I, I, oh, no, I, we, understand. I, we understand. I like these. I like this. So, Corey, do you think that punishment, that the punishment of hell is too harsh? When a person commits a heinous crime, they should expect to have the circumstance of their environment do something heinous to them, heinous in return. Um, so do I think that that the punishment of hell is too harsh? I don't think about that because that ain't none of my business. I'm not God. I can't send nobody to hell. And if I try to send somebody to hell or think to send somebody to hell, then that's what we really call judging and hate. And that's where you're going to end up. Yeah, and that's not my job. And I'm not God. So I cannot compare sending somebody to hell or is it too harsh? And then how would I think it to be too harsh or even why does it matter whether I think it's too harsh or not? It's not my choice and I have no control over it at all. We're talking we're talking about something. If the scenario was if I had control of the situation, what would I do? And I gave my answer. And I gave my reasons why Marlon gave his, his answer is different and his reasons are different because we think different about it. But for either one of us to think that hell is too harsh would be ridiculous to say, I'm not that stupid. I hope nobody here is, but no, um, I'm not God. So I can't say there's that. no way to compare man's justice. to God's it, justice. It, it, it don't make, it just don't make sense. Few people say happy birthday to me. I don't know how did how did somebody know it was my birthday? That's weird. Hey, somebody told him. Somebody told. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. He didn't even tell me, so I don't. I mean, he ain't getting one from me because I'm not even his homie enough to tell me that it's his birthday. You know so why? No, 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 no. He don't deserve no happy birthday from me. He can keep his little his little grimy birthday to himself and no. let him let him be happy no. in the corner. He didn't even tell his homie, man. If I've known this man for three years now. If you was being a good homie, you would know like they do. Ooh. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> no, you, you know never what? told me. Because you, you know never what? told me. Guess, guess who else didn't know? Who? You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm telling you, man. I know you didn't know. I'm glad <laughs> to remind you. Okay. That's where I got the shirt from. My daughter just gave me. A I want to just one more thing. Um, do not twist what I said. I don't think we twisted a single thing you no, said. You slammed um, on the brakes. I don't mean that they should get away with what they did. I am saying people have been affected, and I'm telling you that the V has zero bearing in history on people's barbaric, evil behavior towards the other. And it is really that stinking simple. We ain't nobody misunderstanding what you're saying. Yeah, and, and let me let me tell you, we didn't misunderstand what you said. Maybe you did. That's what I was trying to explain. You didn't understand what you said. You said it ain't they fought. Let's just break it down in short. You said it ain't they fought. Right. So if it ain't they fought, how could you punish somebody for something that's not they fought? She gonna say she didn't say that either. What did she say? <laughs> it's longer than that. But instead of saying that it's what? been a hundred, let's let's give it two hundred years. Let's give it four hundred. Let's give yeah. Let's give it since slavery. Again, explain. When the earth got wiped out by God, explain that for me. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. This is what we both need to practice. We don't offer the help she need. I, I just I just don't see how you can. How about if you just attribute it to the, you know, the fall? Look, and if every if, thought of man is evil. If a, if a person can't understand. Any logical person. 15, 10 percent logic can't understand. That if you say it ain't a person's fault, how do you justify punishing them then? So what about all of us who had RVs as kids? Uh oh. I guess we exceptions. We just we just yeah. rare. <laughs> yeah. Good we point. Just, we uh, just rare. That's crazy. See, see, that's the problem. But but I'm gonna tell you something that we don't we don't um. We don't offer the help she needs. We do, we are we are a rare breed, or it must be our parenting. Yeah. Our parents were so good at parenting that they parented the V's right out of our system. Um, that could happen, I guess. Um, I'm I'm just saying for this, and like in this case with this guy, I will not attribute his statement to racism. I'll I'll attribute it to stupidity. I'll attribute his statement to absolute stupidity for saying it. <clears throat> um. And I don't think he'll ever recover from that. I don't think he'll win his next run, run election. I'll tell you that probably he won't be. No, he ain't gonna win that. He ain't it's, gonna win it now. It. So it'll end up paying it, you know, flushing itself out and making sure it writes it, itself. So I don't think it'll be a problem for him. If, if he is racist, he won't be in power. And even if he wasn't racist, he'll pay for what he said. So either yes. way, I think he's out. Yeah, and 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 to and to be um clear, you know. I don't know, man. It's like the closer I get to God, the less I even care about if somebody races not. Why do I even care? I, I mean, if he is, he is. It don't. It's, it's not gonna um, stop me from doing what I what I do. I'm I'm not. He's not gonna stop me from doing nothing. You know, um, if God wanted done, it's gonna get done. That's it. So I don't care about him. I got bigger things to think about or try to. Um, get taken care of you know do you think tennessee's a racist state <laughs> no <laughs> how that how you, you, you know what <laughs> you want to play huh <laughs> how sway tennessee's not a racist state it got racist people in it <laughs> it's a racist state oh yeah well the whole country is racist well that's true America is KKK. Remember America? Yeah. 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 It's, it's, um, it's silliness. It's silliness. Yeah, it is. It is. But, but the bottom line is we don't have no solid proof that he's a racist, but we got super solid proof that he's an idiot. He's an idiot. He is an idiot. And, uh, I suspect that he's racist. I do based on what he said. And, and that's just based on why he said it, not because I'm emotional that it happened and all that it's just that his, I, you know, I go with the intent and I think the intent was ill willed when he said it. And was he being sarcastic? Yeah. Just like he said he was. Can I, can I not judge him and just arrange the meeting with the judge then? <laughs> how about that? How, how come I don't, how about if I just don't call it uh, the death <laughs> sentence, call it a, a meeting arrangement. 
Is that is that what they, who, who, what they say? I want to call it that. I'm just me sending. I'm arranging a meeting between you and the maker so you can divvy out his punishment permanently for you oh. for the crime. I'm you not killing you. you. I'm just setting up an appointment for you in a, at a future date for you to meet the maker so he can judge you perfectly. I'm not judging you. I'm just sending you to the the judge himself to be seen. Is that is that bad? Lori Lori got jokes today. <laughs> is that is that bad? Is it well? See, I'm just setting up the meeting. That's all I'm doing. I'm a I'm a yeah. I'm a curator of meetings. That's all I am. I'm gonna tell you something else, man. I want I want to open up another door real quick. Mm -hmm. And you can talk crazy to me all you want. I'm gonna just take it. I'm gonna just <laughs> hold on. <laughs> <laughs> like a travel agent. <laughs> wow. Welcome. Well, welcome to the downtown Brown travel agency. <laughs> no, they said, I want to answer this real fast. The answer is no. Don't believe that, man. No, no. Dude, that's, that's listen, bruh. Bruh. We, bruh. we looked into it, man. It's bruh. not true. No. Do not believe that. These, no. That's a whole other show, but no. Okay. No, it ain't. It ain't Look true. into it. It's far from that. People just crazy. <laughs> Um, they were saying the same thing about Tennessee too, though. Yeah. But, uh, man, I forgot what I was gonna say now. I was saying if I'm just setting up the meeting, what then? And then they say you gonna open a whole new thing real quick. Yeah, about the meeting. I think of it in a minute. I no, you won't. I win. <laughs> I'm just gonna set up the meeting, folks. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> travel agency, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm gonna set up. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say now. <clears throat> that me personally. Now I said that I wouldn't. I would not take the death chair off the. Uh, I mean, the death sentence off the table. Mm -hmm. If I had to, if if I had the choice, I wouldn't take it off because I I think we might need it. But I could not see myself sentencing people to death mm -hmm. myself personally, unless I, I would almost have to go with kids. That's if it a, involved that's a kid. That's the yeah, set not, line. That's, that's, the line. that's it for me. Yeah, you're out of there. And and I could not push the button on anybody unless it was about the kids. That's my, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying me. That's me. I hear you. I hear you. It's, I, I don't mind the remote island thing and let them deal with themselves out there, but hey. No, they might figure out a way to make it back. That's not, it must be well, smart. Then that that makes them very resilient. See, and then they have to survive. You make sure it's a good ways out that if their boat, they build a boat, they can't just you know get past the sharks. But hey, hey, see, I, look look how dumb people are. If you haven't had a family member murdered, then you're just talking, Corey. All right, I've had multiple family members murdered. I've had multiple family members murder people. I've had multiple friends murdered. I've had multiple friends murder people. I'm very familiar with murder. You're no, stupid. he ain't. No, he ain't. He never seen a single. He even touched a gun in his life. He alive. You, you just talking. If you haven't had a family member murder, then you get told. <laughs> <laughs> we did, Deanna, um, or Deanne. Nonviolent crimes. I'm not for the death penalty for anything that's nonviolent. I just want to make that clear. I'm not saying kill every person on death row. I'm saying that if it's a provable thing, say you caught on camera dissecting people. Epstein should have been killed. That's it. Okay, let's just be straightforward. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, she should be ended. Um, everyone on the list, <laughs> at minimum, at minimum. Okay, yeah, because they might. Not, not, not just life in, in solitary confinement, life in an outhouse, inside the hole, and every day people poop on you. Every day. You should be the functioning person that is down in the sewer, cleaning it up every day without a shower. That's what I think should happen to you. I think that would be a much better job than than the firing squad. Okay. No disrespect, but that's I, the I, one I was uh, telling. Uh, that's why I was answering that. Oh, that's really? Why I said I, that's why I said I don't um, condone the uh, killing just because there was a uh, nonviolent crime. It's so can weird. You, I was looking at the same comment. There you, there you go, bringing it up. Can you please? Can you guys please distinguish between murderers, rapers, serial killers, child molesters versus nonviolent offenders? Along with, uh, but meaning with the death penalty. What? Why would who, who said give a nonviolent offender the death penalty? Never, know. never. They need training. They're nonviolent. They 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 need help. You know, or sometimes they might need to be locked up forever. I don't know, but we don't so want to. What do you what do you think of my punishment? Which one? 
put you in an outhouse. That okay, so again for child that, for child for child stuff. Just kill them. Nah, no. nah. They need to clean the toilets. Well, in, okay, in so, the outhouse. So so do I do you know, I mean, me, would I say, yeah, do this to them. You know, that's that'd be what's in my head, but deep down inside, like I really know that that's wrong because that's me being revengeful. Yeah, but they're not dead. <laughs> they could learn a good lesson being in that hole, cleaning I, all that crap, I, and then I, come I, out a completely new person. I told, I told you, young man, I, I don't want to kill him. I mean, just kill him. Don't do all that. Nah, nah. Just I think I think for a for a full six, a minimum of six months of toilet cleaning. Uh, and if you survive the six months, then we come out and we talk to you again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Six months in the outhouse every day. You get one shower a week, and then you go right back in there until we kill you. Until we kill you, I can go for that. Yeah, you know, but, I but think that'd be right. a great way to introduce you yeah. to what kind of hell you put families through. I admitted it. I can go for that, but it's not right. It, I know this is a form of hell, people. Trust me, that's truly gross. That's the way it should be. I mean, <laughs> if you're messing with kids, you deserve something really like like life altering. Is what I'm thinking. <laughs> make it, make it like what? If you molest a child, what happened? You do what? Now nah, I'm not touching children no more. <laughs> it's just me. But I do not believe the man. No, but you right know what, there. man? If if you if you when you take these uh, pedophiles and you lock them up and you let them out, they, they, listen. Here's the proof: the proof in the pudding that the system. Now we want to talk about the system, right? Not racist, not systemic racism, but we're talking about the system now, because it's written in the law. When you let a pedophile out of prison, the system know that there's a great chance that they're going to strike your friend. Uh huh. This is why they got the. The uh, what they got to do, not check in. What is it called? Register. Mm -hmm. Why they got to register? So if you don't think they're going to do it again and you think they rehabilitated these people, you think you rehabilitated these people and you let them out. He's and then you say, you got to do a, uh, what they call it? A register. <laughs> For what? He's a born again sinner. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's a born again sinner. That's the, that's the problem with born again sinners right there. I can do it again. <laughs> and I do it again. See, you know, born again everybody want to be a born again sinner. Well, that don't make no sense, man. A, 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 a rehabilitated crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to the re I'm rehabilitated. I'm a rehabilitated crackhead. Okay, I get it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the pedophiles they strike, they strike again, and they know it. That's why they make them register. It's it's trifling. Very it's trifling, y'all. But yeah, that's those are those are my thoughts, man. I enjoyed I enjoyed the conversation, brother Merlin. Hey, me too. It's amazing, man. You know, it's a, isn't it amazing that when the conversation like this takes place too? Yeah, it is. It is. That's a, it is. that's amazing. Amazing, yeah. And y'all, you all were amazing. But I'm gonna tell you what we didn't do. I don't think we got enough shares and likes on this because this thing did not move. So we need y'all to like, share, subscribe, like. And share, share, share. And if people on Facebook, share it up, share it up, share it up, share it up. Quit playing with the share button and share it. No, I was playing. Share it, though, for real. But I'm kidding. I'm cool. Hey, do us a favor. Wake up before you go to sleep. Peace. We out of here.